Okay, so we're going to scan it in and then use a scan in Inkscape to create an SVG. Uh, Inkscape and Trace Bitmap uses all the contrast of two things, so white paper. And you can use pen, but um, Sharpie works a little bit better. Uh, just to have that contrast. So pretty much what you're going to do is throw the part one there, and then, okay, with this part, I only need the, also this instance, I really wouldn't do this, it's just, he should be, you know, six inches or whatever. That's like four inches. Um. So this this one, I really wouldn't do that. But if I was doing a more complicated piece like this. Just kind of get a side like that. This I have Fusion Inkscape, and I'm pretty sure every Windows has this program. But if you just type in scan, scan a document or a picture, go ahead and maximize that. So if I do new scan, it'll automatically show up on my screen and the, my scanner brightness down and the contrast up so let's go ahead and try that and we want documents and this down contrast up but that one does look pretty good. That was C I messed up. Where the double that ended up being a C. The four dots and then that was the battery holder. So right click on this. Save as and then um, let's see, where do I want to see this? Documents is fine. Scan. Okay, so we got our scan into Documents. Let's go ahead and open that into Inkscape. And then, actually, I'll do it right here. Right hand click, do Trace Bitmap. And then you can turn on Live Preview. That actually seemed like it worked right there. So. Go ahead and delete that image. And then while it's here, let's go ahead and do a little cleaning up. So I guess my paper was folded up a little bit and picked up these few dots. So let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of that little see that I messed up on. And then you can also see it picked up some uh, little dots in the page, maybe dirt or something. You can delete those too. Um, so there, there's the, the part drawing like that, the four holes and the battery holder. So we're going to file, 
save as and then we're going to save it you can do SVG or DXF SVG I would really only recommend for art or something that the measurement doesn't really matter um so when you hit file save as DXF right here this base unit uh you you can use inches meters centimeters feet whatever you want i'm just gonna do millimeters and then hit ok and then we are going to open up fusion and then we can create a sketch do it on this plane and we are going to insert a DXF, select the file, documents. So I need to add that. And then units, millimeters, OK. And I did measure from the long ways, it is about 19 centimeters from this hole to that hole. So 190, so I'm 0.7 millimeters off. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.